All right, so let's go back. We'll do another science question. Jack, you got something for us? I sure do. What is the difference between evaporation and distillation? Yeah, sure. So um, evaporation is really just a part of distillation. And also we might think of, ev of evaporation as being like a, something that just happens without anyone intending it to, whereas distillation is like humans doing something specifically. So um, distillation is related to the word still. So um, if we go to my screen, I'll get sort of a simple picture of a still. Um, okay, so this is a still like one that might be used to make alcohol, for example. Uh, now, nobody at Homework Online uh, advises drinking liquor or anything like that, but alcohol is a useful thing. Uh, it's an important part of culture and history, and, and definitely the process by which it's made is really interesting. So um, essentially what you can do is, through the process of bacterial fermentation, you can end up with a liquid that is mostly water but has a little bit of alcohol in it. Uh, ancient peoples, or, or maybe not so ancient peoples, but uh, in olden times, people decided, okay, you know, we'd really like to get more of that alcohol into uh, whatever the beverages that we're trying to make are. So if, if beer or wine were those kinds of things that could be made just with fermentation of bacteria, then, um, you know, harder liquors are the types of things that could be made through distillation. And the concept would go that you would put uh, uh, this, this watery substance with a little bit of alcohol into the still, and then what would happen is you'd heat it from below, Alcohol evaporates more quickly than uh, water does. It's more volatile, we say. And so as the, the um, liquid inside gets heated, more alcohol than water would evaporate off. Now evaporation is just the process of a liquid, a molecule being part of a liquid, moving to being part of a gas. So um, that's something that happens all the time. You can imagine the surface of the ocean. There's lots of water molecules evaporating off the surface of the ocean into the air, going from being liquid water to uh, steam water. But distillation is this process where I, I heat some kind of liquid to get the liquid to evaporate, and I particularly want one part of the liquid. So I have water and alcohol mixture, but since alcohol is more volatile, when I heat it, more alcohol will go up the uh, little tube system here at the top of the still, and then it'll be captured by this little tube shape here, and then it'll run through a, a spiral like this, uh, typically uh, that's cooled down. And so the, the coolness of that spiral will make it so that the gas particles, the, the alcohol gas and the water gas that's in there, uh, will turn back to liquid. And then you would get down at the bottom of this thing, um, you would have a liquid dripping out, which would have a higher percentage of alcohol in it, or whatever your more volatile part of that liquid was. Um, and so it's really ingenious, and we don't just use this for the production of alcohol, we use it, we can use it in, for anything where you have a mixture of liquids and one of those liquids is more volatile than the other. Or even salt water, for example, you could take salt water, just water and salt, and if you heat salt water, the water by itself will evaporate off, you could capture it, and then you could, you'd be left with uh, salt in the still. So anyways, evaporation, natural process, distillation, something humans do to get a purified liquid. Distilled water, that's how it... Or distilled water, yeah. I probably should have gone with that instead of alcohol, given that this is a television show. But I really, again, I think it's just an interesting aspect of history. Yeah, no, it really is. It's an interesting process, too.